Today we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to AI. Make sure your wrists and fingers are free of any jewelry, watches, or hair ties. Use an OB sleeve on your palpating hand. Most technicians prefer to use their non-dominant hand. Some technicians prefer to use an additional glove on the outside of the sleeve. Apply lube. Keep the loaded catheter warm and protected, either using an AI gun warmer or tucking it into your shirt until you are ready to AI. It is important to keep the tip of the catheter as clean as possible in order to avoid introducing bacteria into the uterus. Point your fingertips to your thumb and insert your palpating hand into the rectum. Wipe the vulva of any manure in order to avoid bringing in infectious bacteria. Making a fist and applying downward pressure will cause the vulva to slightly open, allowing a clean entrance. Insert the catheter into the vulva at a slight upward angle to avoid the urethra. Begin to level out the angle of the catheter as you gently push the catheter forward into the tract. If you feel resistance at this stage and the gun is not proceeding easily, the catheter is probably caught in a vaginal fold. You will likely need to take a firm hold of the cervix and actually push it forward within the animal. Gently readjust the depth and direction of the catheter with your free hand until you can easily guide it further into the tract. It is possible your catheter will already be in contact with the cervix, but if not, palpate the tract and find the cervix. The cervix will vary in size and shape, but all have a distinct turkey neck feel. When you have brought the tip of your catheter close to the cervix, the next step is to insert the tip of the catheter into the opening of the cervix. This can be challenging. Around the cervix, the vagina forms a blind end of pocket called the fornix. It is very easy for the tip of the gun to simply be in this pocket rather than at the opening of the cervix. The fornix tends to stretch, so the catheter could appear to be advancing forward, but really could be above, below, or to the side of the cervix. Clamping down around the vaginal end of the cervix, you can close off the fornix and guide the AI gun straight to the entrance of the cervix. You will feel a scratching or dragging sensation to the catheter once the tip is at the entrance to the cervix. Once in the cervix, you will need to pass the catheter through the annular rings. It will generally feel as though there are three to four rings. In some animals, this can be very challenging. The cervix is a tough structure and may require a lot of manipulation. After passing one ring, maintain light forward pressure on the catheter with your free hand while you turn and angle the cervix to find the opening to the next ring. The key concept is to work the cervix back onto the gun with your palpating hand rather than pushing the gun in with your free hand. To ensure you are in the correct spot, feel for the tip of your gun. If you are still in the cervix, you will not be able to feel the tip of your catheter very well. Since the uterus is much thinner, you will be able to feel the tip of your gun in the uterine body. You want to clearly feel a half inch to an inch of catheter in the body of the uterus. Avoid pushing the catheter farther into the uterus and down a uterine horn. We want to minimize any potential for irritation within the uterus. Keep the catheter in the same place, making sure not to pull back into the cervix until semen has been deposited. Deposit the semen relatively slowly, about as long as it takes you to say one more AI calf. 